Hawks have beaten the Bucks at home eight of the last nine matchups. Colin Kaepernick at the Highlight Factory Wednesday. It's Brandon Jennings and Josh Smith dueling in this one. The Bucks going to work on the offensive glass in the early going. How about eight offensive rebounds in the first quarter? Larry Sanders, who got the putback right there, had four of them alone in the first quarter. He had ten boards in all in the opening frame. Deshaun Stevenson in the second quarter is hurt on the drive. He would leave with a lower right leg contusion and would not return to the ball game. Still in the second now. Bucks. Up by five, make it eight. J.J. Reddick catching on the run and firing. He had 18 off the Milwaukee bench on Wednesday. And Monte Ellis turning it over, and the Hawks get out in transition. Devin Harris leaving it up top for Al Horford, who had 26 points in the ball game. Larry Sanders on the miss. Jeff Teague the rebound. And look at him. Just take it himself. Floater is good. He had 11 points in the second quarter as the Hawks Push their lead to 48-43 at halftime. T taking the entire Bucks defense on by himself. He misses there in the third. Tip out by Josh Smith. Hawks keep possession. And Devin Harris going to drop it off. Nice slip by Horford off the screen. And Josh, who got that tip out, had a season-high 16 rebounds on the night. More from T. Corner three ball. 12 points for him in the third quarter. Hawks led by 13. And T, clock winding down at the end of the third, just gets that one to go. Kind roll on the home rim, beats the buzzer to end the third quarter. And with the fourth, Monte Ellis, he scored 20 or more in 11 of his last 12 coming in, struggling from the floor in this one, just two of 14, had just five for the Bucks. Brandon Jennings kept Milwaukee close. He had a team high 21, it's 92 to 87 with under two to play. But here goes that man again. It's Jeff T. Finishing one point shy of a season high. Had 27 points. Also dished out 11 assists. And the Hawks go on to win 98-90 to at home. And Atlanta moves one game ahead of Idol Chicago for fifth in the Eastern Conference.